So, Alan wanted me to make a video on how to set up Plucked Up Terrapoe. So, this is the setup. It is a 32 ounce deli cup with a vented lid. I'm not going to open it because they spend a lot of time around the lid. There's, there's a bunch of nymphs and uh, adults up there. But, so this is, this is the setup. And... So, it's just a thin layer of cocoa fiber, topped with, well, there was leaf litter, it's kind of degraded now, um, and then paper towel on top, which surprisingly, they seem to prefer the paper towel to, like, basically anything. <laughs> uh, they good hide, so it's just crumpled paper towel. Uh, put a few pieces of bark in there too, but they don't really use that. So they spend most of their time either on the paper towel or the sides of the enclosure itself. Because of this, I don't use uh, silicone oil or any barriers because uh, being able to climb the container seems to be very important to them. They're very stressed out by springtails, so they don't like spending a lot of time at the bottom where there's some springtails. Thankfully, in this enclosure, they've basically outcompeted the springtails they were housed with previously. But, uh, uh, yeah, so being able to climb and escape the springtails is very important to them. Um, but yeah, so they got a lot of lid ventilation, obviously. I poked a few holes down the sides here, little pinholes, but not much. So, as long as I got good ve lid ventilation, that's fine for them. But, and I'll just show you a mock-up, though. I'm not opening that, but I will show you a mock-up of this container. It's a similar one. Some side, more side ventilation on this one. Uh, and then, so what I would do is I would just take, a, like, leaf litter. Just dump it in there. Get some... You know, nice sturdy oak leaf litter is probably the best. So you got that curled up there. And then crumpled wet, uh, moist paper towel, not soaking wet. And then you just put that on top. Uh, I like feeding them in a food bowl. So like, a eh, little milk cap, dog food, put it there. Uh, and then that's good. Oops. And I also feed them fruits, like... Uh, Apple and banana, mostly, and I'll just put that straight on the paper towel, and when I do maintenance on them, remove it if it needs removing. Um, I let them dry out a little bit on the top, you know, uh, in between waterings, which they, they seem to enjoy. They seem to enjoy, like, temporary dryness at the top of their enclosure, you know, um, which is what you're going to get in any well-ventilated setup, but... The overall humidity of the substrate should never dry out, and the lower areas of the hides, they should always have moisture to retreat to. Um, and you're going to want to mist them every few days, especially if it dries out a bit in between mistings, because uh, the ooths and small nymphs dry out very rapidly, so it's important. But, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, relatively high humidity, dries out a teeny bit in between waterings, good ventilation... Uh, vertical areas to climb, low springtail populations, and uh, yeah, other than that, pretty easy to sit, set up and breed. Prolific, fast growing, cute little uh, beetle mimics. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.